worked out across with the uh, across the rocks here. Uh, and we make it around. I siege it up just in time. I know I'm using stem and there's no medevacs. That was just my fault. Notice how I ran in closer. You could consider that a suicide because of but if you think about how many tanks he had there, had I just stayed far away, those tanks would still be alive and my units would be dead. So an eye for an eye, some infantry for four tanks. I'll I'll take that any day. And like I said, Banshees, I, kn I knew they were going to be about. There's no way I could make it back to base or my Marines catch up. So I just went in and tried to do some damage. I was able to take out a tank and some other infantry units, so don't want to lose those Marines. I'm going to bring them back. More mis missile turrets, because I know the Banshees are there, and they'll be coming across the map here shortly don't have to really worry about my expansion it's pretty much set up to where uh, you can defend itself if they attack I can just bring my SCVs over to heal so here he comes and he shoot away he has a drop ship I didn't notice that in the game that's why that was the first thing they took out yeah you gotta be careful when you have drop ships in the mix of your infantry because if whenever you tell them tell infantry to attack like if your opponent is uh, is Terran and they have Marines you have Marines and Marauders and they tell their Marines to attack in one direction the medevacs take priority over the other units so your medevacs will be the first thing to get shot down if you don't pull them back and you don't want them full of infantry when that happens his medevac was full of four Marauders that's 400 minerals plus the medevac and then the medevac cost gas as well so that was roughly 500 resources lost and the first thing you want to do when playing against anybody be it Terran, Zerg, or Protoss clean up expansions yeah right now I could run into his main and try to destroy all of his production buildings but see that won't matter if he still gets the resources to rebuild them Now this was stupid on my part. I should have had some air units so that I could see up onto the high ground and kill that tank first. I would have, sort of, I would have uh, definitely came out better. But kind of live and learn. Take out his income. At the same time, keep defense in your base. Terran vs. Terran is kinda hard for me. Um, I got another game I'm gonna show. I'm probably just gonna throw it on top of this video. But anyway, so that's how I won that one. Um, just starting builds are important. Unit placement is very important in the beginning and always, always remember that bunkers are your best bet against Reapers or Zergling Rush so put them where it counts anyway it's only second day since the release I'm sure people are still learning yeah it's pretty much game I think I'm gonna end this video shortly there's me a medevac right there now I don't siege up my siege tanks because their attack rate is double when they're not sieged. Unless I need the splash damage, I don't siege them. But anyway, that's the end of this little show. Um, I'm going to show another video, though, I think I might.